Jenna is wasting away before her mother's eyes. She's suffering from malnutrition, can no longer walk and barely has the energy to talk. Her mother shows us Jenna before the war on Gaza. Jenna's been brought to Kamal Adwan Hospital in northern Gaza, but it's only partially functioning and staff can't provide the specialist care Jenna needs, much to the despair of her mother. They asked me to take my daughter and go home. Where is their conscience? What can I do at home with my very sick daughter? I want her to be treated abroad. I want her to be able to talk and walk like other girls. I don't know what to do or where to go. Food shortages caused by Israel's blockade on aid trucks are leaving Palestinian children malnourished. Adwan is suffering from a deficiency in potassium and sodium. The two-and-a-half-year-old has lost more than a quarter of his body weight in the last six months. I have two sons. Both of them are sick. They're fighting for their lives in front of me and I can't do anything to help them. Health workers say they're seeing more and more children every day suffering from malnutrition and they're appealing for desperately needed medical supplies. There are so many cases of malnutrition that haven't been documented because of the lack of beds in the hospital. Meat, eggs, vegetables and fruits aren't available. This has definitely led to problems with children's immune systems. Infectious diseases are rampant, as is hepatitis because of the water pollution. The World Health Organization has provided the hospital with fuel for generators, but not nearly enough. It's also short of oxygen and incubators, as well as spare parts for life-saving medical equipment. All this is hindering the ability of health workers to treat severely malnourished patients who are struggling to survive this war. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.